Hey guys, I'm back today with a new tutorial. This one is in lieu of Pride. Um, our Toronto Pride is actually tomorrow. But if you'd like to see how I did it, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes. And today I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just going to place that all over my lid. And pretty much all the way up to my brow bone. Now the first color I'm using is a yellow Annabelle pigment in LOL and I'm going to place that right on the inner bit of my lid. It doesn't have to be neat, um, just apply it and I realize there's fallout but just clean it up. If you don't have a yellow pigment, use whatever you have. Next I'm going into my 88 color palette and getting a really bright red and I'm placing that right in my tear duct and kind of along my lower um, waterline and I'm kind of blending it in with that yellow. After I'm done with that red I'm actually going to go into my um, 42 double stack palette and get a shimmery orange. And use that orange to blend the red and yellow together a little bit more. Um, it's not going to be as vibrant as um, the red and the yellow, but I am going to use it to blend them together. And I'm going into my um, Crystal Sun 88 palette and taking that green and putting it right beside the yellow and blending it out a little bit and I am extending it a little bit above my crease. Next comes a bright blue which I have also taken out of my 88 color palette and I am just placing that beside the green and again I'm extending it upward um, above my crease. Okay so at this point I go back in with the yellow and I kind of blend everything out and I extend it up over the green and the blue so this is also helping me blend everything and um, not create such a harsh line of color and I go in with the other colors and just blend everything together nicely. Okay so next I'm going into my 42 double stack and taking that nice purple color and I'm placing that right um, beside the blue and I'm just placing a thin line of it and extending it underneath um, my lower lash line. And again, up and out. It's kind of like a little wing. It looks pretty crazy right now, but it'll look better once I'm finished. Okay, so now I'm going to actually take just a clear lip gloss and dab that all over the color above my lid, kind of on my like brow bone almost, um, not quite, but yeah, just over the colors, just dab it all over. And then I'm going to be taking a um, iridescent glitter, it looks white, but it picks up the color um, that it has underneath of it, and I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to apply that um, over top of the um, lip gloss. After applying the glitter, I'm just going to go in with each of the colors and place a small bit of the eyeshadow over top of the glitter just to add more of that color to the glitter so the red goes on the red, the yellow goes on the yellow, green on the green. It just um, makes it look a little more finished. So now I'm going to go in with um, any of the colors and just really blend them all out. Just clean everything up. Um, make sure there's no crazy like harsh um, color lines and just blend everything out. Make it look nice. Touch it up. Um, 
make it how you would like it to go. Okay, so I'm going into my 88 color palette and I'm taking in color close to my skin tone and I'm going to take it and highlight my brow bone and just blend out the color and shape it a little bit. Again, just choose whatever color is close to your skin tone. Now I'm going in with a black pencil and I'm going to line my waterline and then I'm also going to line my top um, lash line. Nothing too thick, I'm not big on that, but if that's what you would rather, um, you go ahead. And I have winked it out a little bit on the um, outer corner, but again, you choose how you would like it and how you prefer to wear your makeup. Now it's mascara time. Today I'm actually using a combination of two mascaras. The first one being the um, L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion in Waterproof. And I'm going to first get a little bit of that on every single lash. And then I'm actually going to go in with my CoverGirl um, Volume Exact just to lengthen it a little bit and make it all kind of come together. But you use your favorite mascara, whatever you have preference towards. Alright, so that's it for your eyes. This is what they're going to be looking like. Very bright and glittery. Let's move on to our face. So today I'm using Elmay Smart Shade Makeup and then I'm going in with Benefit Cosmetics um, Boing Concealer to cover up my imperfections and blemishes on my face. Then I'm going to take just a um, regular face powder and set my makeup. Next I'm going to just do a little bit of a um, light pink Corally blush just on my cheeks and this smell and I'm just going to use my fingers and blend it back towards my hairline. Okay, for the lipstick I'm using two lip colors. The first one being a light pink and then the second being a berry color. I'm going to just place the light pink on the bottom, the berry on the top, um, blend them together with my lips, blot off any excess with the tissue, then just place a neutral gloss over top of them to give them some sheen. And that's about it for the look today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it, and I hope that you will stay tuned for some more tutorials. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll place the link just at the credit at the end. And, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to um, either mail me or post a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye!